climate change is a phenomenon in which drastic changes occur in the climatic conditions of the world. Nowadays, there is a lot of climatic change and we get many natural disasters and tsunamis and earthquakes coming all around the world. We get newspapers on a daily basis in our school and we read it on a daily basis. And we get many information about the social problems and social awareness. By the same way, we got a social awareness about the 16-year-old school girl Greta Thunberg who protested in front of the Swedish parliament for climate change. How dare you! You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And we got an awareness about it. We started feeling that we are the future generations who have to make the change. We even plan to organize a strike on climate change. Demand the government to take the necessary actions. I think we can chuck out a plan first and then plunge into action. Let us get into action. We can plant more trees to control soil erosion. We can clean the lakes, beaches and ponds for a clean environment. And we can make the people aware of the dangers coming ahead in the future. We first approached the director initiatives and got their consent. We then prepared notices and circulars to gather the students from the school and few more schools as well. We marched with solidarity towards Greta Thunberg along with over 5 million people across the globe. In order to be eco-friendly with nature and save our future, we were taken to a field trip near Mel Marvatur to know the importance of food, nature, agriculture and farming. We are generating organic manure out of the waste that we produce in our school and that manure is used for the organic farming. We requested our school management to replace ordinary fans with super fans to reduce the consumption of energy. We also participated in a workshop on sustainable energy conducted by the resource person Saumya Anantrajan and also learned about the renewable and non-renewable energy. We approximately collected 24,000 kgs of newspaper from students and public to recycle them. We even went for a turtle walk of 9 kilometers and understood the need to protect them becoming endangered. We the students of SNPT have taken a resolution not to use clay with chemicals to make Lord Ganesha instead to make with eco-friendly clay on the Ganesh Chaturthi. In order to create awareness on the endangered species of birds and animals, our friends showed their enthusiasm towards the bird feeding and bird table. We have adopted Smag, a Komodo dragon from Madras Crocodile Bank to conserve it from extinction. Our friends have participated in a young scientist program and made a model on water recycling, winning the title The Young Scientist, which was organized by the news channel Pudhiya Thalaimurai. We explained the cause and effects of climate change to the public. We took resolutions to conserve nature in the form of a pledge and insisted the public to do the same. We took thumbprints of each and every individual to ensure that they conserve nature and fight against climate change. The awareness and the strike had been covered by the NDTV news channel as a live telecast and reached thousands and thousands of people across the country. Schools have gathered here with placards and posters and they're also raising slogans asking the Tamil Nadu government. In a few years you'll be eligible to vote. Will climate issues be a key issue for you? Yeah, we feel that odd. This issue has been projected through YouTube channels, Facebook and WhatsApp to reach parents and public. Our school students have stopped using plastic and raised voice against it. Now we have become one of the schools to lead the climate issue to the global leaders. <laughs>